preconditioning for fast charging. We've all seen the message on the screen. It's a way to warm up the battery so when you show up at a supercharger, you are gonna get maximum speeds so you are in and out of that location quickly. And if you're relying on supercharging for your day-to-day -day commute, your weekly fill-up, so to speak, you know, you live in an apartment or a house without charging, or you just like supercharging, or it's free, you might be doing things wrong. Your strategy might need a little tweaking. I'm going to tell you why that strategy is wrong, as well as the solution towards the end of the video. All right, here's a quick storyline that kind of sets up the video. Let's say you live in an apartment and you don't have charging in your garage. The landlord is saying, no way. So you have to rely on supercharging to get your car charged. Luckily, there was a study recently that says, eh, that's okay. Uh, there, it used to be, oh no, you're gonna ruin the battery if you supercharge too much. We're gonna go over that recent study in, a, in a, a video coming up soon. Nevertheless, you live in an apartment, you have to rely on supercharging, whether it be a couple times a week, whether it be daily, depending on your commute, might be long. You hit the nav and you know from watching our videos that you need to navigate to the supercharger no matter what, even if you know where it is. Why? Because you want it to precondition for fast charging. And you do that and you head to your supercharger and you're driving along. Life is good. I've got my preconditioning. I know my battery's going to be nice and toasty when I get there. And five miles later, you show up at the supercharger and you plug in and you're like, oh, why is it so slow? Again, that was, huh? why is it so slow? <laughs> the reason is five miles ain't going to cut it. That's just not a long enough time for the battery to get warm enough and get toasty enough to take advantage of the preconditioning aspect of that. So what's the solution? Well, you're going to have to wait till the end of the video for that. I've got some tips for that. But here are three scenarios that we encountered on just a road trip alone as to how long it takes to properly precondition a battery for fast charging. So we're gonna go over those three. Ooh, there's a Rivian, just went by. I love those. And I love when it times out like that, right in the middle of a video, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> has nothing to do with anything. Anyway, bye Rivian. So preconditioning, you want it to be nice and toasty when you show up and you get those fast speeds and life is good. But if you do that first thing in the morning, you know, you set up the nav and you head to your supercharger and then five miles later you're plugged in and that's not long enough. So here are three scenarios on a recent uh, trip that we made, just to give you an idea how long it takes to properly precondition for supercharging or fast charging. Just popped up on the screen, wanna let you know like how far out it starts preconditioning for supercharging. You can see at the top of the screen there, it has started about a minute ago. We are what, 26 minutes away, 27 miles away, and uh, we are preconditioning for this particular trip. 78 degrees, that's also a factor in when it starts. We've seen it's uh, preconditioning as far out as 100 miles away when it's cold outside. So there you go, preconditioning battery for fast charging. Heading to the Redlands uh, supercharger. It just happened now. Everybody likes to know how often or how long before it begins preconditioning battery for fast charging. It just happened. We're 46 miles out, 41 minutes, uh, and the car has been sitting all night, so it really hasn't warmed up at all. The temperature is 81 degrees. But uh, there you go, that's how far out this particular uh, stop has started its preconditioning. The last uh, preconditioning battery check-in for this trip is now. And interesting that it's only 7.4 miles away from it, which means the battery's been warming up on the trip over 100 miles so far. Um, so there you go, that's when preconditioning happens over the course of uh, this road trip and different temperatures. We're at 76 degrees right now and it's been driving for well over an hour, hour and a half, 100 miles plus, so the battery does warm up on its own. And we will arrive with 11%, which originally estimated at 20%, but there were other factors involved, so I'll give it a pass. Those three scenarios should give you an idea of how long it takes to properly precondition for fast charging. And so when you leave in the morning uh, to go to a supercharger for your daily commute, you plug in and it's not fast enough, that is the reason why. So what is the solution to that problem? I would charge on the way home from work. 
So make sure you have enough for, you know, to get the ball rolling and then supercharge when you get home because you've already done a commute. It's already warm. You can precondition from work to your residence and you should get a better preconditioning solution. It should be warmer once you arrive and it'll be faster. So I know you've had a hard day at work and you want to get home and all that stuff. Instead of spending, say, 30, 35 minutes at a supercharger in the morning, this may only take you 10 or 15. So that's my tip. Do your supercharging when the car is warmer on your commute home, and it should be a better deal for, for everybody. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. And if you've got a better solution, throw it down in the comments. That'd be awesome. Uh, Model 3 just went by. <laughs> I love how when I'm doing videos, EVs are just driving everywhere. It's pretty cool. So if you like what we're doing here on the channel, if you like our tips and trips and tricks, <laughs> feel free to like, subscribe, hit the bell. We would totally appreciate it. It takes seconds out of your day and it allows us to keep doing what we love here on Tesla Tips and Trips. I'll catch you in the next video and thank you so much for watching. Why is it so slow?